Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition to GSS videos. Um, this video is a, is about um, oh it's for like dog health and if your dog is uh, poorly and finding it hard to go for number two, right? Um, which I um, I found out by two of my family members that uh, coconut oil is good for dogs. Um, it's just put a little bit of coconut oil um, into their food. Um, also, if your dog is going for, is find it hard to go for a number two, you can uh, find this out by the vets, is uh, tuna oil, T uh, tuna in oil, right? Let's give them a tin of a tin of uh, tuna in oil, all right? Um, supposed to help them go for a number two. Um, also, I found this out um, on a couple of Facebook groups for um, Jack Russell owners, um, as my dog is a Jack, Ru Jack Russell. I've joined this group. Um, put it on their timeline about. Um, my dog can't, is finding it hard to go for a number two um, at the moment uh, and tell them what it is um, and they mentioned about um, pump, um, pumpkin uh, stuff up, it's pumpkin stuff, it's like a, uh, a canned pumpkin uh, it's got to be pure Pumpkin, it can't be any, can't be sweetened. It has to be pure. It, it can't be sweetened because um, if it's sweetened, uh, it can be uh, highly toxic. But for your dog, so it has to. Uh, um, and also, if you if you, if you have if you have to put like a like a teaspoon of this. Um, but it's canned uh, pumpkin, uh, it's canned pumpkin stuff in into the dog food. But it has to be a teaspoon. Any more than a teaspoon, it can be highly toxic. So you've got to watch out. You've got to be, uh, you've got to be dead on. Right? Uh -huh. You've got to be dead on a teaspoon. Um, also, which I didn't know this. I was told this by the fats are but pets at home. Um, I phoned them on I phoned them up and told them uh, my dog's symptoms and they've mentioned all about uh uh for instance they told me about tuna in oil and also told me about uh lateralose um, which I didn't know you can actually give dogs lateralose if a dog is finding it hard for go for number two or got diarrhea. Alright? So, uh, very nice uh, little video dog there, isn't it? Talking about dog's problems, uh, going, going for number two. But it, it's, even though it's um, not a, a nice sort of way to put in it, things, it still goes in with, say, dog health. Um, so, if your dog is finding it hard for number, number, going for number two, or has diarrhea, tuna and oil. Right, um, or um, tuna, tuna and oil, or lateralose. Lateral right, but only use lateralose on the very, very last resort because lateralose has um, very high volumes of sugar in it. Right, I years ago had to. Uh, was all naturalized and I had to have loads of teeth extracted because the natural the highest sugar content in naturalized. So watch uh, only use naturalized on a very very last resort. Um, um, one of the first things you probably you can try is the tuna and oil. Um, also. Maybe 
coconut oil, right? Um, or the best brand of dog food you can get is say um, tuna and potato, right? Or do tuna and what rice? Um, not tuna and rice. Um, salmon and potato or salmon and rice. That because that's got that like, all the goodness in it as well. And it, um, dried dog food is better than wet dog food. Um, wet dog food doesn't do the teeth any good. Um, where dried dog food do, do their teeth good, it keeps their teeth clean um, because of crunching down on it and it's keeping the teeth, teeth clean. Um, watch out for a lot of the dog chews. Some of them are, if you eat uh, a lot of the, if you eat lot of dog chews or a lot of dog bones, it can um, go make it, make it harder to go for a number two with them um, as well. Um, for instance, like that, you know those Murray bones that you can get from pet shops. Dogs love them. Um, but I wouldn't always give it to them um, all the time because uh, it can make their dog stalls uh, really hard and it it's not that it's not that good. It can be made really hard and it could harm them if they find it hard to go for another two. Um, uh, if your dog is Suffering from ill health as well. Pure mince meat, right? Pure mince meat. Uh, you cook, cook up pure, cook pure mince meat up. Um, put it into their bowl after it's cooked and about well, finally cooked. Uh, don't give it to them straight away because it'd be too hot. You need to sort of cool it down. Uh, pure scrambled egg, but do not give pure scrambled egg. To a dog who is um, got diarrhea because it could bind them even more. Um, yeah, uh, please, I would say, if you've got any um, any comments below, please don't hesitate to mention it. Um, uh, mention it in the comments below this video. Uh, or you can mention it on say GSS videos, Facebook page or GSS videos, Twitter channel. Um, uh, and the four I make a move is I'm also on Skype. So uh, if you would like to go into that recorded Skype call, um, for instance, if you've lost your cat or you lost your dog, right? Um, I you're desperately looking for your dog or your cat. Um, how about coming into uh, a recorded Skype call with myself and uh, we can talk about your breeder dog, um, his markings, any distinguished, distinguished, I can't remember that's that word. Um, any, any information that can extinguish, oh fucking hell, <laughs> my god, um, any information that could help you find your dog, if you mention that in the recorded Skype calls, um, then it could go all over YouTube and so on and you can then share it to like, these Facebook pages that are for missing dogs and missing cats and so on, right? Um, if you lost your loved one, like you loved, you lost your family member, there's also Facebook groups up there to help you find them. I have three, three groups. It's got the same name, or same name, but with one one word different. I've got a lost slash missing cat in the United Kingdom. One called lost slash missing dogs in the United Kingdom and one called lost slash missing people in the United Kingdom. Right? But it's only in sort of in the in the, in the United Kingdom because I'm from the United Kingdom. But these dogs and cats could be anywhere. Um, these these lost 
people could be anywhere. So if you lost your family member, you lost your dog, you lost your cat, please don't hesitate to just become a member of these groups. Um, if you're in Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland, there's one group for uh, uh, missing dogs and cats in Northern Ireland. Um, it says Northern Ireland, but because Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland are so sort of over the border from each other, why not just come and join that group and um, push it um, under everyone's noses and sort of because at the end of the day, uh, because Northern Ireland and Public of, Public of Ireland are over so the border from each other, it's easy enough to sort of go to say Northern Ireland and then for people to pinch dogs and cats and then take them across the border, right? And likewise, people going to Public of Ireland, licking dogs and cats and then bring over to Northern Ireland, right? Because, um, that I say it is. The border control are not that good. Uh, um, even at the moment, you can go from North Public Island to Northern Ireland, from Northern Ireland to England. The, the border control is not that good. It needs to be more better um, in that in that way. Uh, um, if you lost your cat and dog, uh, please um, make sure your dog gets get the dogs. If you find it, if you find a dog, right, make sure you take it to the vet and get him him or her scanned. If you same with the cat, make sure you get the dog the cat scanned as well, right? Um, because sometimes the dog collars and tags can come off. Um, okay, um, like for instance, Marty Janice has lost her dog, who which is a chocolate Rowan cocker spaniel. His name. Is Bobby. He's been missing for that uh, way, way too long now. He's, he got he went missing from his back garden in um, Saint Neots. Um, well, my, my auntie was, I believe, believe, at work at the time. Um, her partner taking his take, uh, has let Bobby out in the, in the back garden to do his, his business. One minute. The back gate was locked and shut, shut and locked, or oh, right, shut in a way. Um, next minute, the gate was wide open and Bobby was gone. And we haven't seen him since that night. Um, he's been put all over Facebook, he's been put all over Twitter. Um, I have made a couple of. Um, YouTube videos for Bobby. Bobby is still missing. There is a reward right, for Bobby's safe return. Um, so if you've got any information for of Bobby's whereabouts, right? Bobby, where I said is, is where I told you is uh, a chocolate roaring cocker spaniel. He also has in uh, one or two teeth missing at the front of his mouth here. Um, he still has his towel, he still has his mandrake, that is, testicles. He's got, um, on the underneath side of him, with his back legs, not one but two scars. That is, from, not one, but, not, uh, he's got two scars, but it's from, say, um, cancer uh, operations. Um, is not really interested in say other dogs in that way. Um, if all that we're interested in his family, please. So please, if you know where Bobby is, if say some someone's found Bobby and not realising that he's been uh, missed, it's, it's been taken, stolen, and just thinking how I've got a dog here, and, um, and sort of taking him in and loving him, uh, please. Bobby is a loved dog, right, by his family. Um, please take him to a vet and get him market checked, right? It's got scars. If you if you got so if you see a chocolate brown cocker spaniel, it with it's got like two scars from on the underneath side of him, and a couple of teeth, uh, one or two teeth sort of missing from the front of his mouth, right? 
Hey, Bobby, is Mark a chip? That's why I said, can get him, Mark, you can get him scanned. Please get him scanned. All right, please take him to the facts and get him scanned. All right. We would love to see Bobby home safe and sound. All right, safe and sound. Back home with his uh, family members. Okay. Um, so please, please bring Bobby back to us. All right. Um, my auntie Janice. Uh, but Jack, Marty Jealous, Marty Jan would love it if you can find, uh, if you can have Bobby back with her where he belongs. So, uh, yeah, please bring him back. We need him, we want him back. Okay? So, uh, yeah. But if you've still got your dog and he or she is poorly, not, not be able to go to the number two. This here, all right, tuna in oil, all right, tuna in oil, or pumpkin, canned pumpkin, got to be pure, can't be sweetened, all right, I do have a bit of information on uh, the pump, uh, on the pumpkin, the canned pumpkin and all that, so I will sort of, I will stick that to, uh, I will stick that to this video. Right, so that will appear up. I will also stick a couple of uh, uh, pictures of Bobby so you can see Bobby and what he looks like. Okay, so until the next time, I'll say bye, my friends, and uh, speak to all you guys later. Right, so bye.